I'll do. Curtis Warren. Legend, hero, anti hero. He went from the street dealing drugs to traveling the world dealing with cartels and the like. Very quick rise to fame. Curtis Cocky Warren. The book by the same name. Things caught up with him round about mid 90s. 95, 96, he was locked up in Holland for importation of huge amounts of drugs. Whilst in prison, he killed a man. It was a fight, he claimed self defense. He got an extra four years on a manslaughter charge, uh, using excessive force, kicking someone in the head. He was out of prison a short time. Then I think round about 2-7, 2009, conspiracy to supply a million pounds worth of canvas to Jersey. I spoke to a lad who is from that neck of the woods, who uh, knew Curtis Warren quite well when he was in prison over there. And quite definitely, like a lot of people have said, conspiracy theories and the like, he was stitched up. Now, he's been Mr. Big. He's already been to prison for massive amounts of drugs. So they're gonna come after you. The authorities are gonna come after you. A bit of an embarrassment, really. He actually had a uh, pocker proceeds of crime against him for 198 million. He was at one bit in the Sunday Times top 100 richest list. And when he got out of prison, which is quite a recent thing, um, prevention of serious crime order, that's a license, terms and conditions of your release. Laptops, phone devices, limited use. Not to be using cars, other people's cars or vehicles. Travel restrictions. Restrictions on social media. Groups, WhatsApp, Snapchat, Messenger. A few serious ones, obviously guns involved. Can't start a business. Can't have more than a certain amount of cash on him. All sorts of restrictions. He's been to court, he's back in court, I believe next week. Um, to answer these breaches. The thing is, when Curtis Warren were doing his thing, you know, he went massive, massive drug importations and the like. He was sort of a first, you know, a bit of an entrepreneur, if you like. Since then, while he's been locked up, the world has changed. We've got Irish drug cartels. We have mafia from different countries. Thousands of people in this country, all from the same ethnic background, rich supplier drugs. Drugs everywhere. My mate was a cokehead. His term, not mine. Says you can get it anywhere now. Drugs are readily available. More readily available than ever. He said if I walked into his house with a stash of coke, he'd have it off me in a flash and he'd be sticking it up his nose. I never suspected me been a good mate for a long time never suspected that he had that addiction spent thousands normal working class man spent thousands like I say he's been off it a short period of time but he says it'd take nothing to get back on him we don't deal with drugs do we in this country we don't help addicts continually send him to prison there's no real programs no real help the worrying thing is we're not educating our children, are we? We've got 
Gen Z, I believe we call it now, born after 1997. They're all over social media, these kids. Expectations up here, reality down here. Crazy. We've got the whole gender thing going on, amongst other things. Kids, 10 year olds coming out of school, vaping. They're all at it, they're all vaping. Becomes an addiction, doesn't it? And then weed, maybe alcohol, and onto other things maybe. When you're not well, people turn to drugs and the like, don't they? Drugs and alcohol. Addiction. We just don't deal with it. Should be educating our children. In schools, road shows every six months. Obviously suitable and presented to appropriate audiences. Bearing in mind age. Addicts and ex-addicts. Ex-prison officers, coppers, current coppers. All sorts of people delivering and sending a message to kids. A bit of education, because they're not getting any now, are they? Schools, not a lot I can say about schools, is there? I'm just gonna grab his collar. Come here, come here, come, come here. Schools, now, teachers outside with radios, making sure they've got the planner, they have to take the coats off immediately when they enter school. They have to leave the blazers on till they give them permission to take them off. No corporal punishment. Don't get a cane in school like I used to. They do have detentions, all manner of, I don't know, C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, D1, D2, or whatever. But it's basically no discipline. Some aspects are like prison, other, no discipline at all. We're not educating them. There's all this woke bollocks knocking about. Teachers, for me, should be teaching. Any of their opinions and views on politics should be just that and kept to themselves. The classroom, purely for learning. Learning lessons maths and English. So Curtis Warren, possibly going back to prison. He probably did embarrass the authorities when he was on his mission. However, it's got far worse since he was locked up. It's everywhere. They're not even touching it. You know, you hear about these 12 ton of this and a million pounds or 100 million pounds not even scratching the service. Education. We need to do something with addicts. Just gonna leave it there, guys. Uh, continued support, your continued support, as always. Hopefully, next week, I'll get back to doing a few walk and talks. Those that don't know, new to the channel, I am an ex-prison officer. A few people have said I was part of the problem. I would disagree and talk about that. But yeah, the two prisons, strange ways, Forest Bank, I'll be walking around them with ex-prisoners, talking about the current state of prisons and what it was like when I was there and they were locked up. Parting shot as always, main man, Stephen, God bless you all. Thanks for coming. I'll see you.